This is a WNBD NBC 33 News Brief. Good morning. I'm Lakia Scott with your NBC 33 News Brief. We now know the names of the victims involved in that deadly crash on Highway 82 Wednesday night. The Mississippi Highway Patrol says 71 year old Jill Thornton died when an 18 wheeler crossed the center line and crashed into his car. They say the semi was headed westbound on 82 when it crossed the center line and struck two eastbound cars. The impact forced all three vehicles into a ditch. The driver of the 18-wheeler and the other vehicle suffered moderate injuries. No word on their conditions. State troopers are still investigating the crash. Well, a national initiative says if you're under the influence, you're under arrest. And they're not just talking about alcohol. The Mississippi Department of Transportation supporting National Drunk and Drug Driving Prevention Month. MDOT reminding drivers that operating a vehicle under the influence is dangerous and also puts others in danger. Supporters warning alcohol is not the only substance that impairs your driving. They say illegal drugs and prescription meds also put drivers at risk. Research shows more than 10,000 people die on roadways due to impaired driving. Impaired driving fatalities represented 31 percent of all traffic fatalities here in Mississippi. MDOT wants to remind folks to concentrate while driving, buckle up, and be aware of other drivers. Well, the body of a missing Leland man is discovered by authorities. 50-year-old Jerry Wheatley's body has been found on Highway 82. Authorities discovered it Thursday morning. Police say 50-year-old Jerry Wheatley spent Thanksgiving with family at a house in Leland. At some point, they say he argued with some family members and decided to walk home. Police say someone reported seeing Wheatley on Saturday and he was asking for directions to Greenville. His family says this behavior was definitely out of character for him. Investigators plan to send his body to Jackson for an autopsy. Meantime, the wife of a deceased Leland Alderman will now stand in her husband's place. The Leland Alderman board swearing in Nancy Jo King. Nancy is the wife of former Leland Alderman Rusty King, who died in October while out of town on a hunting trip. King was 59 years old when he died. And friends say he died in his sleep in South Carolina of unknown causes. King was a businessman in Leland who had served six terms as alderman. His wife was sworn in Tuesday and she was the only one vying for that position. Nancy Jo King is a retired school teacher and is said to be very active in the community. The board is now majority women three to two. This has been a WNBD NBC 33 news brief.